nine more of those combinations uh, if he doesn't do something to turn this tide in this fight. Big third round for Yuri Baula, and let's see how Morrison can respond here in the fourth. He lunged with a right from long distance, and the crowd reacted to it. Well, it hit Baulan right on the chin, and uh, well, he came right back with his own two punches, but it looked like it uh, it stunned him for a second. Me, me, right? Come on. You know, Baulan told us yesterday Touch. that he, he depends on this right jab. That that really is his bread and butter punch. Hey, come on, come on, Yuri, come on, Yuri. A left caught Baulin going backwards. Baulin has taken Tommy Morrison out of his game plan here. When Baulin does get on the inside, he's allowing, uh, when Morrison gets on the inside, he's allowing Baulin to tie him up on the inside. He should forget about trying to push him off. He should be banging him to the body, trying to wear him down and slow him down. He's, he isn't getting many opportunities to hit him. He should take advantage of it on the inside. Another one, too, landed right on top of the head. By Baulin. Punch out of there, Tom. Referee Steve Smoger telling Tommy Morrison to punch his way out of there, out of the clinches. Morrison had said something to Smoger. I'll let you work out of here. Go ahead. That's the voice you hear. All right, hold on. Go up from now. Don't punch. Don't punch. Tommy, don't punch, Tommy. And a left hand from Baulin. Oh, your hands are loose. That's it. Push. Morrison finally going to the body. If he were doing that more consistently, it would definitely be taking uh, the legs away from Baulin. That had been the game plan. They wanted Morrison to come in low to be explosive. Don't punch. Don't punch. All right, good. Break. Don't punch. Baulin's corner is urging him to jab. The pace has slowed down a lot here uh, in mm -hmm. this round, but they they certainly expended a lot of energy in these first uh, uh, four rounds uh, uh, for punch. heavyweights. Now. A lot more clutching and grabbing here right. in the fourth. Oh, dynamite. Baulin with another fine combination. I'll tell you what, Tommy Morrison is really uh, uh, unsteady on his feet. His uh, his ankles are turning. His, his legs look weak underneath him right now, man. Another pretty good round for Yuri Vaulin. So maybe his people were right all along when they said, don't take us lightly. Don't look ahead to your next fight. Take a look at us. And let's check in with Cindy Barton to see how she has scored it through four rounds. Cindy? Well, Len, I have Baulin winning 39 to 37. He's applying the pressure. He's controlling the fight. And uh, I think it's pretty clear cut at this point. Are you very surprised by this, Joe? Well, you had to favor Morrison going into this fight, but Tommy Gallagher told us that uh, Baulin was going to surprise everybody. He was, he was confident uh, as you could be that Baulin was in this fight. Uh, people were kind of writing him off going into this, but you look across the ring, you see Morrison. He looks like he was the underdog in this fight because he is getting banged up looking. Yeah, you know, the rap on the Soviet fighters is they're more headhunters than tacticians, but uh, Yuri Baulin certainly. Uh, being very tactical tonight. He certainly is. Uh, Tommy Gallagher in the corner told him to jab, move, jab, move. He knows the other punches will follow. He just doesn't want him standing still until Tommy Morrison is almost out or completely tired. Is he still dangerous? Get off his neck, Yuri. No, no. And now Morrison on the attack. Morrison missing wildly on that one, but for the first time, he stunned Baulin. Well, just like I said, he was still dangerous, and, and he's got him rocked. Let me tell you, and Gallagher was worried about that. Dynamite uppercut. And the crowd clearly on Morrison's side, as you can tell, as he's come alive here in round number five. 
Well, this is something uncharacteristic of uh, Baulin, and that's slugging it out with a guy like Tommy Morrison. We haven't seen this in his previous fights. Work out of it. You're loose. You're loose. It was Baulin's fight through the first four, and Morrison still oh. tied with a big left hand. And Baul is hurt. Body shot. That's it. They may stop the fight here. Doesn't look like he can continue. He looks like that shot took everything out of him. Seven. Eight. Okay. Gallagher telling him not to quit, and he doesn't. But he sure looked on the verge of it. Break, 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 break. Step, step. Oh, and Baulin hurt again. Turned his back. That's got to be it. A fighter turns his back. I can't two, believe that Smoger is actually three, letting him get away with this. Four. That's it. That's, that's, it. It. that's it. Tommy Morrison, who was in trouble and rocked in the fourth round but did not go down, ends it in the fifth. Well, he finally decided his corner had to have told him to go back downstairs or finally go downstairs because he didn't do it in the first four rounds. And that's what turned the, turned the tide for him. At 206 of the fifth round, that'll be the official time. And Tommy Morrison goes to 27 and 0. 206 of the fifth. At their Olin. that really hurt Morrison in the fourth. All right, this is round number five now as we take a look at the replay. Left to the head. Morrison jumping, strong, solid left. What a rocket. That's where he first got Vaulin in trouble. And it was the body shots which made him take the first count. And the second count was also from the body shot and then the, the fight was stopped as well but this is what started it and this is the second time around you see Vaul immediately react and turn around he had done it once early in the round and here the second time and referee Steve Smoger goes over and starts the count and eventually stopped it Olin low that's what they wanted to do they wanted him to be low explosive work the body and that's exactly what he did to take out Yuri Vaul in the fifth round. Quite a performance by Tommy Morrison. So now he can look ahead perhaps to Ray Mercer in a battle of undefeated young heavyweights in August. Let's go to the official decision. Michael Buffer up in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Smoger stops this contest at two minutes and six seconds of the fifth round. The winner by TKO victory, his record now 27 and 0 with 23 KOs from Kansas City, Tommy the Duke Morrison. Let's have a round of applause for a very, very game. Yuri Baulin from Yonkers, New York, by way of the Soviet Union. Let's give him a hand. All right, the final CompuBox statistics the number of punches thrown, Baulin. Way more than Tommy Morrison. Morrison's percentage just a little bit better, but you saw the big left hand to the head that started the problems for Vaulin, and then it was the succession of body shots that led to the stoppage at 206 of the fifth round. And Joe Goosen's in the ring right now with Tommy Morrison. Joe, take it away. Thank you, Len. Listen, I got Tommy. Uh, Tommy, your worst nightmare almost came true tonight. Those southpaws, you told me you don't like them, you have trouble with them, and uh, it took you a few rounds before you got on track. That's true. I don't think uh, I'm, I'm the only one that doesn't like them. I mean, everybody had, you know, southpaws have a reputation of being very awkward and unorthodox, and uh, it proved to be true tonight. Uh, fortunately, I think conditioning played a, a major factor, and we're able to uh, you go to the body, which is something I should have done a hell of a lot sooner. But, uh, you know, things don't always happen the way they should. But fortunately, uh, my trainer and the condition that was in was able to come out on top. 
was uh, was it your corner man who told you to finally go to the body or was it a decision you made on your own? Well, going to the body is something that I normally do, uh, you know, just about every time I go to the head almost. The first 30 seconds of the first round, usually. <laughs> and that's why we've been successful in the past with the body shots. But I'd like to say hello to everybody back in Kansas City and Oklahoma. I'd like to wish my dentist, Bill Bush, happy birthday. Uh, listen, uh, Tom, let me ask you something. We know that uh, before the fight you told me, and I saw that right knuckle was hurt badly. How did it affect you tonight? Did it have any uh, play in you not throwing uh, it as was, much? Uh, there, there was a little bit of pain there, but you know, as, you, as we all know, anybody that's very knowledgeable about the sport of boxing, uh, when you have the drilling, it certainly does uh, a lot for you. So we're, we're fortunate enough to throw it. The left hook uh, is basically what did it for us. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it didn't happen a lot sooner. Well, well, I, feel like, I feel like we learned a lot from this fight. Exactly. Bill, listen, uh, your worst nightmare almost came true like you told me. You were worried about this fight. I was worried about that because of the southpaw problem. Ordinarily, the first punch that is usually thrown by Tommy is a left hook to the body. And here it took him five rounds to throw his first real effective left hook. Were you surprised by Volin? <laughs> were you surprised by uh, maybe the, the couple left hands that he landed on you? Shook you a little bit? Uh, I was very surprised at his speed. I know they had very fast hands, but it seemed like it was even multiplied once we were in here. Very, uh, very accurate and he knew his range very well, as most southpaws do. I think because that southpaw position kind of threw, obviously it throws everything off, not able to do what you normally can against an orthodox fighter. But, uh, you know, God was with us. We came out on top. Well, you look great tonight when you finished up strong. Yeah. Bill, let me ask you something. What about the future for Tom? What's he got going on? Well, we're going to probably fight Mercer in August. That's our plan at this time. And uh, if you get by Mercer, what's next? We'll see what the future pairs. Exactly. Well, I think he's got a great future for uh, Tommy uh, Morrison here. Great fight, Tommy. Thank Congratulations. Like to thank uh, Top Ring and Main Events for having us here. All right. And thank you very much. And back to Len Berman ringside. All right. Thank you, Joe. Uh, let's take them one fight at a time. And uh, Mercer in August is the, is the next probability in a battle of young undefeated heavyweights. And uh, a bit of uh, life imitating art. Uh, Tommy Morrison in that street brawl in Rocky Five and got into quite a brawl here, uh, getting rocked in the fourth round and winning it in the fifth. Let's go back up into the ring now to Joe Goosen. Thank you, Len. I've got uh, Yuri Vaulin here with me. Yuri, you almost had that fight in the bag. You had him hurt several times. Unfortunately, you couldn't finish him off. What happened? I received a strong punch in my stomach. I'm so sorry. This was my fight. Well, uh, let me ask you something. Uh, uh, when you were in training and you uh, you prepared for this fight, I'm sure you had sparring partners that hit you in the stomach. Was it a case that he just hit a lot harder than anybody else you've ever fought before? Uh, on one training, I received punch in my stomach. I just uh, no control. If I work with my stomach, I can receive today two punch more. Usually, I control his hands because he have good hook. I control all times these hands in my chin. <laughs> right. Mistake. Let me ask you something, Yuri. You had him hurt a couple times in the early rounds. Did you have a problem trying to, did you try to finish him off, or was it a, a fact that he just survived your attack? When I find his chin, I'm very hurry up. A little bit sink to fight his free place. So you, you tried to take him out, you just couldn't do it? I'm uh, hurry up, finish this fight. This is my mistake. All right, Yearly. And, and how about the future? Are you going to continue? Uh, uh, do you foresee yourself continuing in the heavyweight division? Uh, I must uh, uh, teach this uh, mistake. Teach me now. No more this mistake. All right, in other words, you've got to work on the fact that if you get hit in the body anymore, you've got to be able to absorb that punishment. Yeah, my, time, my trainer Tommy uh, usually t say to me, Yuri, work a million push-ups on your body. I don't listen to him, so sorry. He, he listened. We had the best sparring possible. We had Seamus McDonough and Derek Eisman, who punched just as hard as Morrison, punching him to the body for three weeks up in Kutcher's. And this guy I mean, has the fight. We're right there. We're, we're a whisker away. And, and he got hit in the body. It's he a shame. It certainly is a shame. And uh, back to you, Len Ringside.